Thank you very much for such a wonderful welcome here today. A lot of people asked me in my two days here in Canton, how does it feel to be enshrined in the Hall of Fame? Naturally, I'm very proud and I'm very happy, but I'm prouder and more happy over a few other things. And I'd like to take just a couple of minutes to tell you what those other things are. First of all, during the parade this morning, I had a fantastic time because there were about 250,000 people along our route, and they were wonderful. They responded, and they made me feel that I was really wanted in the area and that I was remembered, and that the things that I did in football was highly respected. And it was all very natural and all very spontaneous, so I was very happy. The other thing is that my mother's here today, and she had a tough struggle when I was a little boy. She had to take care of me all by herself. I never tell her that, so I thought I'd take this time to say thank you, because you work very hard. And lastly, there are a few men here representing the community of Manhasset, Long Island. Now, regardless of what you've heard about me, my being outspoken, saying uh, what I want to say, doing things that I wanted to do, you probably never heard the great story about the people in Manhasset. Today, we have Kenny Malloy, who I chose to represent me here today because Kenny was the leader of that community. But we also have uh, the superintendent of Manhasset Schools, Dr. Raymond Collins, who's somewhere out there, and you won't know him, but I know him very well because he was very instrumental in my early development. He came to Syracuse, and he kept me in school. He did all the things that a superintendent wouldn't do to keep a young man on the right track. And finally, there's Ed Walsh, who was my high school coach. And if I was a highly religious man, I would think that this man would be a saint because I couldn't imagine him doing anything wrong. And I love him as I love the rest of the people in the community of Manhasset. They are here today, and most of all, I want to publicly give them my thanks because they came into my life at a time where I could have gone in many, many directions. So to all of you, I hope you can remember that. Remember that the arrogant, the bad Jim Brown can be humble when he is given true love and when he is able to talk about people that he truly respects. So thank you very much. <laughs>